Okay, so we have um, another talk right now. I'm um, really happy to present uh, Tracheopteryx. Um, they're from uh, Yearn Finance, and the talk is called Coordination at Yearn, Notes from the Frontier. I'm uh, very excited for this one. Uh, Tracheopteryx, are you around? I'm here. Awesome. Well, um, very happy to have you here, and um, I'll leave you to it. Take it away. Thanks, man. Um, I'm happy to be here. Hope you can all hear me all right. So I am Tracheopteryx. Um, a little bit about me. I am a uh, extinct flying dinosaur, and I do organizational ops at Urine Finance. So I'm delighted to talk to you about Yearn and explain a bit about what Yearn is and my, my experience at Yearn and how we function. And I think the, the operative word is chaos at Yearn. Yearn is a emergent, multi-headed hydra uh, just appearing between minds on the internet. And it really called me in like some type of a magic spell around July. You've probably heard some of the history of Yearn. You know, Andre Cronier, the, the mythical developer who started the whole thing, was building uh, these little tools to manage his money. He created the first Yearn protocol that would just move stable coins between money markets like DYDX and Compound and Aave, looking for the best prices. But then, you know, you've probably heard the story. He didn't want to manage a whole system, he knew so much more had to happen, so he created the Wi-Fi token, YFI, and he gave it away uh, to everybody. He gave away 30,000 Wi-Fi tokens over the period of one week. That's worth a billion dollars now. That was a billion dollar gift. And that, that reached out through the astral plane and brought me in. I was extinct, you know, I didn't plan on coming to work for any DeFi company. I didn't even know about DeFi. Somebody in July messaged me, buy Wi-Fi. And so I was like, all right, let me check this out. And what I found was this incredible community. You know, I, I jumped on the forum. I started participating and just people coming together to make things. So what started is this little platform to, you know, move tokens between some different, you know, um, investment opportunities needed to grow because what what Andre realized was that there were so many yield farming opportunities that he couldn't do it all himself and he needed people to do to do that to write that the strategists so you know no one was being paid there was no ICO there was no foundation there was no entity there was no company now, this was just people coming together because this thing was cool and I was one of them and around August I started getting paid a few people got paid and and we just my job is to kind of hold the wheels on the bus and um what that looks like is about a hundred different telegram groups <laughs> and uh you know discord and forum and all these different things and we're trying we're, we're making these protocols and we're we're making all these memes so so where to go from here So vaults, right? Why uh, Yearn version two really was when the vaults launched. Uh, that was after the first stuff, and that V one vaults platform has been forked like uh, a twenty times or something. You know, people often talk about the the famous vampire attack of of Uniswap to make Sushi Swap. We've been vampire attacked like persistently by about twenty different places for for months. It just goes to show the, the power of that platform, the kind of industry standard for, for robotic yield farming or, or decentralized hedge fund or whatever you want to call us, uh, has gone everywhere. You know, Harvest, Badger, uh, Wi-Fi, uh, Staked Out, all these different uh, places are using that open source code library. And, and Yearn gives, you know, Yearn makes stuff and gives it away. That's one of the incredible things about this, this network entity that I'm somehow a part of. 
but you know there were some issues with the with the v1 vaults and there was a, a major initiative to do v2 vaults which just recently launched and the v2 vaults are like a spaceship uh, you know when, when you create a, a, a protocol and you, and you launch it you know it is you know immutable out there in the world and it can't be you know changed you know you can you can tweak some parameters but that spaceship is in space flying you you you've got mission control connected to it but you are not you know re rebuilding it like you would a normal you know program or an app and that requires an incredible amount of skill you know the 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 team of people that work on on v2 vaults and on strategies is really incredible um we have groups of top strategists in in DeFi, uh helping each other figuring it out figuring out how to how to what strategies can work what are the new opportunities where can things go and you know the entire structure of the vaults platform is designed so that strategists can come in anybody can come in and um make a strategy that then will then earn money And I have a lot more memes here than I thought I did. So I wanted to get to some of these vault slides. <laughs> this is the last one. There we go. There's a spaceship. Those are our vaults going into space. And this is what the uh, this is one of Voss's diagrams showing what what vaults v2 is like, all the different um, this is the simplified version, the different parts. You find this on Twitter. And one of the key things that we did too with, with Vaults version two is we changed the fee structure around. So in V1, uh, strategists made a very small fraction of the performance fee. So um, all the profit that comes from a strategy, uh, back then I think it was 5% went to the strategist or less than that. But then in V2, we changed it so that 20% uh, there's a 20% performance fee and half of that goes to strategists to really try and incentivize um, the best minds to be able to come and work at Yearn or partner with Yearn to make strategies. And then one of the other things that we're kind of known for is mergers. We did a bunch of mergers. And I think it's important to think about what Yearn is. You know, it, it is not a company. Um, it is not led by, you know, a, a, a board or a uh, executive team. It is a group of people, autonomous people doing different things. And some leaders among them, particularly Andre, making things happen. And when you're a network like that, you don't need to do an acquisition. You don't need to have a secret board meeting. You can just start collaborating with people. You can start working together. So we, we merged with Pickle. Pickle is another, um, you know, they, they're doing automated investment strategies and yield farming uh, and amazing developer and team and join forces with them to help help each other be more successful. We joined with Cream. Cream is a lending platform. We merged with Cover that provides you know, coverage for protocol risk or, or other contract failures. And with Acropolis, which is like an institutional investment strategy provider. And SushiSwap, you know, the, the big decentralized AMM. And now we have this big team, uh, all these different ecosystem partners working together to help each other make stuff. And recently, you know, you know, Yearn from the beginning, uh, we were making a lot of money, but we didn't have much money to spend. All the money was going to dividends and, you know, the team was getting paid a very small amount. Um, and that, that was fine for quite a long time. People that were working here and really didn't care that much about money. We just wanted to make amazing things. But eventually, it started to cause a lot of strain. And uh, with the the incredible amounts of compensation happening in, in DeFi, we were starting to lose uh, people to other teams. And so we really realized how critical it was. So we just recently did a proposal to increase the magic number of 30,000 and mint some more Wi-Fi so that we have money to do things. So now we have a treasury of over $200 million in Wi-Fi that we can use to retain the team and to hire new people. So this is kind of a fast talk. Um, I just want to talk about a few new future things that are happening. Um, we are just launching an affiliate model. And went, so there's so many different people that want to launch strategies. They want to, they want to use our vaults and inter interact with our vaults. 
So this is a, a token wrapper system that's permissionless that people will be able to use to uh, you know, share fees from the TVL that they bring in. And um, we're pretty psyched about this. This will be launched very soon. So if anybody's interested, you can please reach out. Another thing that we're working on is, is figuring out how to more effectively create decentralized operations, right? So Yearn, right, it doesn't have a uh, leadership team and has many leaders, but really what, what, you know, this is the coordination piece. I came to Yearn and I didn't, nobody told me what to do. Nobody gave me a job. And that's a common story for Yearn. You, I made the role that I wanted and I just started doing stuff. And so many people did that. And that has created an incredibly chaotic and amazing place with very little friction, uh, very easy to do things. But as we've scaled and grown, um, it becomes a little confusing. Information transparency and organizational structures and communications, all these things are stressed a little bit. So there's a great opportunity to create new structures, new ways for people to, to collaborate um, using self-management models, decentralized operations systems, which is all being developed now. Um, hopefully share some more of this soon. And then that's really it. Um, I'm happy to take questions. The last piece is that we're hiring. So please reach out to me on Twitter. Thank you. Well, that was uh, really good. Thank you, Trachyopteryx. And um, let's see if we actually have um, some questions. Uh, let's see. Are there any? Um, I'm looking to see if there are any. What's your Twitter? <laughs> there it is. Read it out loud if you could pronounce it. Sure, it's uh, Tracheopteryx. You it's up there. It's on the screen. On the, uh, yeah, on the screen. I'm looking to see if there's any more questions here. Yeah, well, Yearn is hiring. He just said that. That's another comment, not a question. Uh, another question is acquisitions soon, question mark? You never know. Yeah, I would say uh, chances are maybe good, but who knows? You never know. Okay, cool. Mariano, good to see you. Tracheopteryx, thank you for the... Uh, Notes from the Frontier. We appreciate your contribution. Thank you. Glad to be here. You got it. Yep. Thank you, sir. <laughs>